Ah, the enviable life of a thief. Explore exotic locales, caress the most exquisite treasure, and mingle with your ancestors? I'm your relative from the future. Yes, in Sly Cooper's latest foray, he steals priceless artifacts while thumbing his nose at scientific law. Zooming through history's pages bring plentiful and often welcome diversity to this horological adventure. Although such variety leads to the occasional misstep. Graceful as Sly's thieving crew can be, when forced to fight, their combat skills are noticeably lacking. Nevertheless, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time is a lengthy and exciting caper through the eyes of good-natured burglars. The name Sly. Sly Cooper. And I'm a thief. From a long line of thieves. Someone has been tampering with Sly Cooper's family encyclopedia, the Thievius Raccoonus. When entire passages vanish from his ancestors' documented exploits, Sly and the gang do what any smart trio would. Build the time machine to halt any further tampering to the timeline. No one blinks at the off-the-wall premise of this wacky story, and humorous situations and dialogue ensure that zany vibe continues right to the very end. Oh, snap! What have we here? It's a pink nightmare! Trust me, pal! You ain't dreaming! Cutscenes sometimes stretch on for too long, but seeing how the many different characters you meet along the way react to your time-traveling exploits brings with it enough smiles to ensure the story complements the tomfoolery. How about I just call you... Bob? Thieves in Time takes place in five expansive episodes that stretch across hundreds of millennia, ranging from the Wild West to a prehistoric Iceland. Each location sports a massive hub world that's more than a link between each stage. These areas are littered with enemies, collectibles, and all manner of secrets, and scavenging for all the mysteries is an irresistible delight. It's in these zones that you learn how to slink through shadows and bounce on precarious ledges. I get up that tower. Jumping has a smooth elegance, and once airborne, you can latch onto certain surfaces by tapping a button. Dancing along rickety poles, sprinting across a narrow wire, and then landing behind a bewildered henchman is a pastime that never gets old pluck gold coins from their teasing purse, and vanish before anyone can sense your presence. Balancing the free-flowing joy of espionage with worthwhile punishment for being caught is an area where Thieves in Time too often struggles. With little more than a slap on the wrist for failure, it's easy to move recklessly instead of taking the thieving art seriously. And though this isn't necessarily bad, it does become mundane when fisticuffs are needed. Clunky and unsatisfying, the times when you have to fight serve as the game's low point. Thankfully, you won't have to fight too often, so you're quickly on your way to more enjoyable exploits before yawning takes over. Sly is just one of many controllable characters, and each furry miscreant you embody has their own tricks. His distant cousin Bob may not be the most articulate beast, but he can climb walls like no one's business, and sushi chef Ryoichi can leap with pinpoint precision. Sly unlocks a costume in each episode, and these give him a few tricks to play with. From slinging his ball and chain as an escape prisoner, to deflecting fire in his samurai gear, Sly adapts well to each place he visits. And you have to make use of all your moves to complete the levels. Although the game is never particularly difficult, each stage does a great job of mixing up your objectives to keep things feeling fresh. I should try this blindfolded. Controlling Bentley brings the most diverse gameplay. Being confined to a wheelchair doesn't hinder his movement much, thanks to the rocket boosters and robotic arms he decked out his ride with. And when hacking is necessary to gain access to a locked area, Bentley is ready with an assortment of simple, fun challenges. There's a side-scrolling shooter, motion-controlled maze, and a top-down tank blaster to distract you from the core action for a few minutes. All of these do a good job of keeping you on your toes and wrap up before they become tiresome. Each episode ends with a fearsome boss encounter. And these are the only time when combat is welcome. The pattern-based fights grow progressively more difficult, so you need to have fast reflexes to come out ahead. It's another nice bit of variety thrown into a game already brimming with it. And they're even peppered with comedic exchanges to keep you smiling. Did you forget your glasses? Let's see how you like Sly Cooper Thieves in Time is another good entry in the long-running series. With plenty of different moves and objectives, there's always something new around the corner. Whoa, one thing at a time. And the beautiful locations make it a pleasure for your eyes as well. There are occasional stumbles, 
for this long and enjoyable adventure is well worth your time.